Setting user permissions in SimpleRisk is an important practice designed to ensure each user is able to gain access to tools and features which they are authorized, while at the same time preventing unauthorized access to information or functionality that's beyond the scope of their role. Let's first take a look at user permissions assigned when a new user profile is being created. To create a new user, we must first navigate to the Configure menu at the top, followed by the User Management button on the left. Once in the User Management menu, you'll see that the first section of this page deals with adding new users. The first fields with blanks will make up the credentials of a newly created user, including email address, full name, username, and password. The column of checkboxes below contain the list of all user permissions that can be set. When a box is checked, the newly created user will be granted that permission, and if a box is left unchecked, the user will not be granted that permission. The risks a given user will have access to is dependent on how your risk formula is configured. Risk access is determined by a user's risk level permissions. There are five risk levels which include insignificant, low, medium, high, and very high. It is our strong recommendation that you make any necessary adjustments to the risk formula before you begin to add new users. The configuration menu for the formula can be found by going to the configure menu at the top and then to the Configure Risk Formula on the left. Once you've completed entering all new user information and have determined what permissions should be granted, you may select the Add button found at the bottom of the first section just under the multi-factor authentication. To edit permissions for current users, navigate to the second section on the User Management page. Then, under View Details for User, select the user from the drop-down menu to edit their permissions and click the Select button. Once you click the Select button, you will automatically be directed to a page that looks similar to the Add New User section, but in this case, it is specific to the user you just selected. From here, the process for editing a current user is exactly the same as if you are creating a new user, which we covered previously. Just to recap, when a user permission box is checked, the current user being edited will be granted that permission, and if a box is left unchecked, the current user will not be granted that permission. Once you've completed editing the user permissions, to save the changes, simply click the Update button found at the bottom of the page. This concludes the video on how to set user permissions in Simple Risk. If any questions were left unanswered or could use more in-depth descriptions, please use our customer support email address, which is support at simplerisk.com.